Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingsfield 2. We are here in the awesome Passage of Death. Let me check my uh, pixie map real quick, because for me it's been a few days. So, I'm going to see where I want to head to here. Uh, we got a couple places to check out. Really, everything. We got everything in the world to check out here still. So, let's go... I know I already went that way. Let's go this way. You know, we gotta go this way too. We gotta just go everywhere. Every which way. Alright. So, I've already been here apparently. Uh, hmm. Do I want to check this way? I see a passage down the bottom left that I kind of do want to check out. Ah, I'm gonna go to the passage down the bottom left. Sorry. Can't make up my mind. There's so many things to do in this passage way of death. Take you out first. Scythe? Can't handle this! My ex elector in your face! Just like that. That's how we do things. Like this, and like that. Alright. That's taken care of. One Trap Too Many. That would be the name of a book if they wrote a book about Kingsfield. Oh! This is why I didn't go in this direction. It was because of this trap right here. Well, I just love my game. Let's run through. Something just happened, and it doesn't sound good. Oh. Well, that's what just happened. I am trapped in whatever direction I was heading. Hopefully it's not a dead end. Okay, let's be careful. Cautious, the walls may kill. Okay, no killing walls yet. The bones have an earth herb. It's totally worth it. Well, hopefully... There'll be a secret passage, otherwise, I don't want to be SOL. Well. Don't be SOL. Not be SOL. Okay. That would have really sucked. <laughs> I was like, uh, hmm, this would not be a good start to this playthrough if I just ended up SOL. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was figuring you could probably turn off that trap somehow. And here is how. All these traps can be turned off. All of them. I mean, except for that dead end trap probably can't be turned off. But don't worry about that. That's okay. We got this. So, if you guys don't know, while I'm recording right now, it's around Halloween time. And I decided the costume to do was Speed Racer. It was time to bring Speed Racer back. And if any of you guys haven't seen the Speed Racer movie, that movie is awesome. You should definitely check it out. I really don't know what just hit me there. That's pretty weird. Oh well. I will make you guys melt so you can't even handle this. Uh, so I don't really want to go this way yet. I kind of want to... Okay, I'm going to check that other passage first. Just because... Just because... We'd already kind of started going that way. Uh, and I already have it filled out. Oh, wait, there's another... Yeah, let's just finish filling out this passage. And then... Then I will, um... Go ahead and go back in there. Come on, move, move, before we cast dark! Okay, that was close. Maybe. Maybe it wasn't close. But I'm gonna call it close. Alright. Nothing, nothing. And we already know that there's a passage that's gonna lead us out of here. Which will be the way back. Right through here. This we know. Yeah. This we know. Anyways, let me check these walls. So, now we know how to turn out that trap, so that's one trap thing right here. Oh my fucking god. Wow, that thing just took me the hell out. Yeah, I need to be careful. <laughs> I need to be more careful. That's what that says. Jesus. Oh, I'm gonna reserve it. And I'll just moonstone it. Jeez, that thing was like nasty. Okay. Uh, well, that's the only one there. Man, I th I'm wondering if the Promius armor is helping me survive some of these. I was thinking about it the other day when I was playing last time. Because some of this stuff is like practically killing me, so maybe it's really lucky I have this Promius armor right now. And I should probably be cautious about walking forward. Because you never know if one of these walls is a trap. Like that wall right there. 
That is why I want to be cautious. You got hit by the trap, sucker. You just got hit. But you didn't die. So I will take I'll take care of that part. Alright, so let's see if this skull is an indicator of another trap. Hopefully I won't die from this one too. Whew, man. No oh, crap! Jeez. I should probably stop checking chat traps every time that happens. I start checking the wall again immediately. I'm like, oh wait, no, that's a bad idea. Bad idea. Okay. There's one. Oh, okay. Another passage right through here. We'll take note of that and come back in a moment. Wanna run through? Okay. Anyways. Yeah, that is why. That is why. My god! So many passageways! Sometimes it's hard looking at the pixie map to tell where I've been and I haven't been. Because I see a room that looks like it's done, like that middle room down there. Like, oh, I must have already explored that one, but I haven't finished exploring it, so... Yeah. This area is nuts, I say! Ooh, okay. Another one of these rooms. Be nice if I could get the key! about walking forward in any of these rooms. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, that one opened. Weird. I was not expecting that. Oh! Uh -huh. Yes! This is what I wanted. I'm so happy. We got it. We got it! The royal key! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> that was a Michael Jackson moment right there, that last one. King Alfred the First had this key made for the royal family. This key is needed to open the royal family's treasure chest. Oh, I'm surprised I have enough wisdom to know what that does, but yes. Yes! And we'll check the walls anyways. Oh, now I won't feel bad about every royal chest I find and not be able to open it. Apparently he was influenced by the pharaohs. If everything looks like a pharaoh. I don't know, it just really looks like an Egyptian thing to me. Really. Anyways. Let's get through this one, and we got another suit. What the fuck hit me that time? I'm dropping a lot of F-bombs here. I usually don't drop this many. Eh, whatever. None of you care, I'm sure. If I'm hurting your ears, I'm so sorry. Not really. Grow, grow the fuck up! If it's hurting your ears. Man up, I say. Alright. This is a man's job right now, wall checking. I got the wall checking certificate, the CWC. Okay, well there's one right there. Where am I? Have I been here yet? Probably. Or at least this probably leads to somewhere I've been. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be that area that I was wanting to check out eventually. Anyway, this looks good. That is good stuff. What the hell is that? Chair rocking. Oh. Oh! I bet that chair rocking is a uh, dead person. It's probably a ghost. Anything else through here? Anything else? Or is that just a trap to kill you? Yep, that's just a killing trap. Well, I can check more walls. What do you know? Any more killing traps? Any more? Any more? I don't see any. I don't see any, but there probably are more. Probably are more. Okay. So that's this area. And there's probably gonna be a way to turn up these spike traps. Probably gonna be a way. I swear to God. Well, it's gotta be here somewhere. Is there a ghost in these pots? Do there be a ghost? Truthless. No, it's just the passage of death. Still. Slowly, slowly walking. Oh, what do you know? An exit. What do you know? But where... Oh, is this where I came from? This is an entrance, is it? Where's my pixie map? No. I don't think so? No, it's not. I haven't explored it. Yeah, this is just that second one I found. I'm just surprised I haven't found the uh, the way to turn off that trap, honestly. Unless it's related to the first place to turn off the trap. 
Anyways, this would look to be an exit. Yeah. So let's just find out what area this is. I'm just curious. What area does this connect to? And then we'll go right back into the passage of death now that I got my royal key! Because we got tons of stuff to do. We got some areas to go back to. Actually, even the beginning in Kiss, there was that royal treasure I couldn't open. Oh, I think this is like the giant cemetery area, if I remember correctly. The Hill of Prayer. Upon this hill, just outside the outer wall of the castle, King Alfred and the Queen offered a prayer for peace. Since then, the hill has been called the Hill of Prayer. Alex's tomb is located on this hill. It is a sacred place. His tomb will be important. Alexander's tomb, because whenever we get that um, item from Lynn, I think was her name? My girlfriend. You know, Lyle's girlfriend. The elf girl, whose dad wandered off into an area he shouldn't have for Promius. Bad choice there, dad. Got bad choice. No secret passages. Oh, wait, there we go. There's one. I was like, man, that would have been weird. Ah, uh, who is doing this? Seriously, how sick do you have to be to make a secret passage just to put a skeleton in it? You know how they say, you know, you got skeletons in the attic and stuff like that? How many skeletons do you have in your attic? This person had a billion skeletons in their attic. What is up with this person? King Alfred, man. King Alfred and his skeletons. The attic full of skeletons. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Another one of these. Another one of these. Oh, I did not mean to use the truth glass. I meant to use the pixie map. This would be... Connecting to an area we've been to before. Maybe this is the second area. Ah, I don't even know. I lost track. I lose track of these things. Which I shouldn't be. Okay. This- oh, probably gonna be a trap. Probably gonna be a trap here. They're not gonna make it this easy. Okay. Seriously. Where's the trap? I hear a noise. Run! Run! Okay. That was nerve-wracking, but I still think there's gonna be a trap. There's gotta be a trap around here somewhere. That noise got louder. Um, okay, probably coming from another side of a wall. Yeah. Oh, what do you know? What do you know? Why do I keep going to my truth class? I mean to go to my pixie map. Well, this is we know how to deal with this. We know how to deal with this. No thing. That ain't even a thing. Right. Oh, another one. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. I'll deal with this one too. Doubling up. Oh, sh- Wow, I failed really big time. I'm gonna use a gold potion. Huh. Wow. Because I could use it anyways. I needed a bit more MP, so you know what? Screw it. I need it. Wow, 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 wow. My bad. My bad. This should not have happened. Oh, hello. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> hello and goodbye. Thank you for the blood ruby. That would have made this trip completely worth it. Pixie met me. There's gotta be something else here. I'm just saying. Like a trap that's gonna kill me. Hopefully not. Oh, fuck! Of course. Ah, oh, son of a bee. Alright. Well, I got... Oh, wait. Okay, so we're back in Kiss now. So let's go ahead and check for the royal treasure in Kiss. And we'll go right back into the Passage of Death. Because why not? Why not? Oh, plenty of reasons why not to. Also, I wonder if Leon has anything new to say now that my ex selector is level baller. Leon, what you got to say? Many things have happened. Time is running out fast! Time is running out fast! Time is running out fast! Stop yelling at me, Leon! I get it. I know. I'm, I was in the passage of death. Have you gotten to the passage of death, death yet? I don't think so. Man, that shit is crazy. That S is all up in crazy house. That's all I gotta say about it. Alright, so, I'm actually, you know what, this is a good thing. 
Right, let's, let's think positively here. Even though we had to come back to Kist eventually, and we're gonna use the Royal Kid eventually. Eh, don't, eh, it's all good. We wanted to do this. This is all for the best. Because now, I get to check for what's in this Royal Key area. And I'll go ahead and warp back using my wings of Icarus. You know, I got them wings. I can no, Jesus. What if that killed me too? That would have been a very sad moment. That did also kill me. They got more powerful in the passage of death. Just saying. So hopefully the Royal Key will work on this one too. It did. What are you? Whoa! Sweet! Blades of Awesome! Okay, what is this? The Royal Blade, baby? It is the... 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 Um... Something. If I could find it. The Triple Fang! I don't know how I missed that. Wow. Let's, let's find out if it's better. I hope it is. 93, 81, oh, it's probably not gonna have any holy. But anyways, 93, 81, 76, 93, 81, 76. 93, 81, 76. 93, 81, 76, 90. Well, I still have holy magic damage. So 93, 81, 76 is what we had before. So stab blows a little bit worse. Just a little bit, but slash is holy crap better. 93 to 128, and stab from 76 to 98. Oh man, this is pretty badass. Boom! Oh, it's fast too. Whoa, it's super fast. Oh, this is sick. Oh, this is so sick. Oh, this is so sick. I'm gonna pass out because I'm so excited about this. Wow. Royal Key, you did, you did good, Royal Key. You did good. And now, Guess what we can do? We can fast warp the hell out of here. I almost use my gold potion. Don't need to. Icarus wings out. Peace! Yeah, that's how we do things. That's how we do things where I'm from. We use Icarus wings it all up at this place. And look at the pentagram on the ground in awe and wonder. Alright, so. I will go ahead and run right back in. Right back in. Sorry about this little delay, but eh, whatever. We got the triple fang, and the triple fang is incredible. Let's uh, stock up on some gold potion, and we'll head right back into the cave. So, things to talk about while we're heading into this cave area. Area, huh? Um, I'm thinking about... So, I'm actually... I, I gotta say, I was surprised so many of you guys responded about the Half-Life 2 thing. I really wasn't expecting any responses about it, honestly. I was just kind of throwing it out there, so... Uh, maybe I'll do it. I, I really wasn't planning on it. That's why I started playing the game, but I, will, I stopped playing, and I think maybe I'll do it. I really... Thanks for responding, guys. That was, that was really cool to see. Um, I'm definitely going to do... Wait, where... How do these Garan Lizards get out? I'm definitely going to do Ancient City, though, by the way. That's definitely happening. How did you guys get out? Interesting that the around lizards are all over the place now instead of those uh, other creatures we're dealing with, those stupid berry fly guys. That makes me wonder where our elf friend is, our elf lady, considering this. So uh, I was just gonna run through, but now I'm kind of intrigued by the fact that these guys are all out and about. So let's go ahead and talk to her and see what's going on. Why is this new infestation here? Also, let's go ahead and check the cave. I, like, honestly, I would not mind another level up or something, so I could survive the area a little bit better, you know? Maybe I should have went and got the, uh, the Promia shield. Wait a second, now there's a Cyclops here? Wait, whoa, 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 we gotta deal with the Cyclops. We, we just gotta deal with it. Alright, so, sorry to get sidetracked here, I wasn't expecting a, a lot of this madness. A Garan Tess. They were the descendants of the legendary tribe of Garan. Unlike their ancestors who refused to use magic and fought with their own physical strength, Garan Tess will use the magic of Earth. Will you? Well, that's dishonorable, so I'm going to kill you. You dishonor me and your family. Goodbye. That's all I got. That's all I gotta say. Stop dishonoring everybody you've ever known. It's not cool. Um. Oh yeah, what was I saying? So, Ancient City, I'm definitely gonna do Kingsville Ancient City. Definitely happening. 
Um, I'm actually thinking that I'm gonna do another Let's Play Dark Souls series and do a, a kind of lore through. Because the one I've been doing right now has been kind of just a challenge mode thing for myself with level 6 playthrough. Uh oh. Oh no. A note. Anyways, I think I'm gonna do one that's specifically focusing on the lore. I'll talk more about that in a bit. I don't like this. What does it say? Lyle! I found the path to Garan. I know it's dangerous, but I must go to find my father. When I find him, I'll bring the crown back for you. Lin. Lin. Damn it, Lin. Why, why did you have to do this, Lin? Ah, damn it! I was just thinking that I could have done two. It was warped back to, um... Is this gonna be open now? No. It's still not open. I need to find a way to unseal it! What was that noise? Whoa, wait. Oh, okay. Uh, can we close it? What does that do? Oh, so if I press that button... Oh, that'll open it. Well, apparently I could have gone in here right away. Oh, no. What if I went right away and I could have saved her life? Uh, that, that would suck if I could have gone here and I could have saved her from doing this. Alright, well, let's go to Garan. Shit. I really hope she's not dead now and it's not my fault. I wonder if going into that area with Alexander is what triggers it. Because then you probably need to get what she has. Oh, man. This is not cool. Not cool at all. I'm not excited about this. Well, sorry I got sidetracked on the passage to death. We will come back. Because right now, those traps are kicking my ass anyway, so... Maybe it's for the best. Even though it was making it really exciting, I gotta say. Anyways. I'm pretty not stoked right now about the possibility of our girlfriend dying. I will save you as if you're not already dead. Ugh. Don't be dead. That'd be the worst. I don't know if I'd be able to go on. Anyways, uh, yeah, doing all the lore videos for Dark Souls that I've been doing has made me really need to do a lot more research in all that than I'd ever done before. I mean, I, I knew a lot about the lore and I really enjoyed it, but when you make those videos, at least the videos I've been making, <laughs> I really don't want to be wrong. Because otherwise people bitch at me, and then I get pissed off that I'm getting bitched at, and nobody wins. So, yeah, that's how you do the giant mushrooms. Anyways, I've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of crazy amounts of research, and I really know the lore far, far better than I did when I started my, my uh, Let's Play series. So, let's blow them up. One fireball, and whoa, they also shoot. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to do, I do a lore playthrough where I really talk a lot more about the lore. Alright, well, might as well just keep on going right, because that's the trend that started here. Mr. Master Devil suggested doing a Let's Play of Kingsfield 1. I think that's a badass idea, and I'd love to do it. Except I don't, I can't get it legally, so uh, I might emulate it, maybe. I, I haven't done that yet, so we'll see. I, I've actually been playing all these on the PS3, and I also have a PS2 for to play Kingsfield Ancient City on, because apparently it doesn't work properly on the PS3. What do you know? I think Fess was the one who told me that, so thank you for that. Anyways, let's figure out about this. Uh, hat we just got. Hopefully it's not that crown she was trying to find. The groundling crown, it might be. It's a special armor. Well, until I can find out more about it, uh, I'm not gonna go through the moment. It probably has earth defense, actually. Let's find out. Now I'm curious. My earth defense is at 3. Eh, whatever. Let's find out. 86, 67, 66. 86, 67, 66. 86, 67, 66. 86, 66. 67, 66. Uh, actually, this is a lot better. It is better overall, although I feel like I have more magic resistance with the dragon hat. No? Dragon hat? Let's find out. I had more fire with the dragon helm. Uh, at 12. 28 with water. I don't think it has to do with this. So... Yeah, I guess uh, we'll keep this equipped then, unless we start fighting some fire magic thing. 
I think I'm running faster. It's probably just in my head. I'm curious to know what else this thing does. Oh wow! One hit now. I wonder if it boosts up my power. My power is at 99 right now. Uh, if I unequip this, my power is at 79. Uh, what negative status effect is it going to have though? Oh, wait, what's my... That's crazy that it did that. Um, that makes me weirded out by it. I don't want to equip it. <laughs> I feel like there's got to be something wrong with it if it's going to do that crazy of a status effect. Like, seriously. Just use my pixie map here. I've just been taking all rights, like I said I was going to do. Yeah, alright, let's get on the all right path. Keep on the all right path until we hit a dead end. Yeah, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this for now. I don't know. It kind of weirds me out a little bit that um, it's got that much attack. I feel like there's got to be some negative side effect that's going to be made that powerful. Because I mean, that was pretty crazy. That did not do much damage at all. So, alright, brown lizards are nothing now, now. They are basically a threat of nothing. Oh, uh, level up, sweet. Alright, cool. And magic learned. What magic did we learn? Fireball, fireball, firestorm, wind cutter, tornado! Hell yeah! That's awesome. And let's see if we. I doubt we learned any support spells, but let's find out. No, no support spells. Tornado, though, is badass! I doubt it'll work well against these guys since they shoot them. I think that they are probably resistant to the next That would be my guess. Would be my guess. Could be a wrong guess, but that is my guess. That looks like one of the Promius Barrier golems to me. I gotta say. I think you have Promius, don't you? So there is still Promius in these parts. What do you know? These guys should be easier than last time. Unless they've like, leveled up. Well, now I do stun them, so last time we didn't even stun them. Give me that Promius. I need to make more Promius stuff. Yes. Yes, more Promius. So I can go get my Promius shield and make even more Promius items. And then my defense will be insanely good for the passage of death. The other thing, uh, too, is if I find Lynn and her father, they're looking for Promius, it'd be cool if I could just be like, hey, take my Promius. It's all yours. It's all yours, baby. It's all yours. I don't even need this shit. Even though it's actually for me, probably more useful for me than it is for you, but you know, that's cool. Well, this, uh, this Let's Play took an unexpected turn, in my opinion. I was not expecting to go into the Grand Lizard area at all, but totally worth it, I think. I think it was probably for the best. Because that passage of death was kind of owning me a little bit. I mean, I was being cautious, I was being careful, but when one trap can take you out at full health, uh, yeah, that's when you're kind of in trouble. Especially when it's a wall checking trap, which we need to be doing. What are you guarding? Is that a sword? It looks like a sword. Stop it! Stop hitting me. I gotta check what's on the ground over here. Oh, it's a bow. Ugh, bows don't mean anything to me anymore, now that I got the awesome dwarf bow. I wonder if I already have this bow too. It looks like a normal one. A large bow is the one I already had. It's used to shoot down enemies who are scaling the castle wall. Why did it, how did it get all the way over in this random corner? I don't know. But we found a save point and we found the crown. And we got a Promius, so this path was a good path. Now let's continue going left. I feel like, did my stats just change? They definitely did. I don't know what I'm wearing that's changed my stats. Oh, all my stats are going up. I wonder if that's from the triple thing. See, right now I'm at 191, 154. Check out my stats. 191, 154. They're about to increase 192, 155. Uh, alright, I'll take it. Especially the magic recovery. It's always pretty damn useful, in my opinion. Uh, alright, we will go left soon, I guess. If I'm continuing with the path I'm taking. The path I have chosen for my life. Come on. Yeah, come on. I just need to stun him so I don't get poisoned or whatever that hell is. And that won't stun you, but that's okay. It's a little help kill you. Ground lizards. 
You got nothing on me. Interesting to know that the weapon that they're using is the, um... That special Crescent Axe. It looks like the... Actually, maybe it's not the Evil Crescent Axe. I thought it was. But, uh, maybe it's not, because it looks like it has blood red for the Crescent Axe part of it. For the Axe Blade. The Blade! Ah, uh, turtles! Oh, <laughs> more giant turtles. They're everywhere! They just want to block more paths. Alright. Well, we're in a mine, so maybe we are in the V mine. This one's got a description on it. Probably a foreboding. The skeleton of Elorus. I have lost my bow. I haven't been able to locate Promius. Probably Elorus talking there. Alright, what did we get? Ground, ground all nail. Uh... I wonder if it's better than my Promius armor. That'd be crazy, but maybe it is. So, 86, 67, 66. 86, 7, 66. I lost track. 86, 67, 66. 87, 66. Uh, whatever. Anyways. 83, 80, 60. And before is that 87, 66? So it makes your blow defense a lot better. Everything else is worse, I think. Uh, so. Yeah, so your blow is way better. Stab and other th is not as good. But it might be worth it just for how much better the blow defense is, so let's keep it equipped for now. Also because it's new. That's the other reason. That makes it worth it. Alright, so keep him with the righty-tighty thing. Righty-roo. Righty-tighty. Up. Well, another dead end. Another turtle dead end. Another turtle butt guarding my passage. Okay. Well, now we are popping out if I'm sticking my right tactic. Where the hell are we? This right tactic has been an interesting tactic here. An interesting tactic's over. Oh my god. That earth magic has stunned me. So these guys... Oh, well, maybe I was just being stupid. It stunned me that time. Well, it doesn't hurt me for very much, so... It seems like I'm kind of overpowered for this area, honestly. Oh, that time it did stun me. Screw you and your Earth Wave. Oh, now they're really kind of messing me up. So I just gotta get behind them, and then it'll be fine. I guess I noticed I've totally got messed up by It's all good. We'll heal it all up. Use that Earth Heal. The way it was meant to be used. A lot. I guess I could have also used Blessing. No! Damn it! Well, I wonder if she could have been saved. That would make me really upset if I could have gotten here first and saved her. Ah! Ah! Damn it! What did I get from her? I'm not at all happy about this. It was just another silver ring. No. Uh, no, seriously, what did I get from her? I already had two silver rings. Uh, Windaculous. Oh, maybe it's probably an item to use. Uh, this sucks! Lin's ring, a special effect item. I don't even... Uh, now I'm in a bad mood. Because I really wonder if I could have saved her. Um, yeah, I don't know. That is a mystery that, unfortunately, this war has gone too far, too far, too long. Those are more bones. How many of you guys knew that and saw that coming, that Lynn was going to be dead? Well, I found the crown that she was looking for. I almost just missed that. Unless uh, the other one I had was it. What was she thinking, man? What was she thinking? No, oh, seriously, what did I just pick up? <laughs> what the hell did I just pick up? The... Don't know. Do not know. What are you, item? Okay, maybe it's a use item thing again. Oh, the Icarus crown. This is one of the three seals of Icarus. It will lead to the Fountain of Healing. Cool, we'll find out where that leads to. Um, so that is definitely what she was looking for, is the Icarus crown. 
Well, we will use that one after I finish exploring this area. Where did Lynn's dead body just go? It disappeared. Lynn, I remember you forever. You will forever be in my our hearts and our memories. Can, now let's continue onwards with the quest! Huzzah! I'm staying positive. Nothing, nothing bad happened. It's all good. It's all good. I'm staying positive. Pump it up. Pump it up, guys. We're positive. Positive time destroying giant cyclops things. Who spew out earth magic at us. Staying with the right path. The right path is the only path. I don't take the wrong path, I take the right path. Oh, what do you know? That guy looks like he's, uh, praying or mining. I found the crown of Icarus, but it was taken away from me. I can't find my father. Boy, it's been rough. Boy, it has been rough. What are you doing, man? What was he doing against the wall? He's like, I do not like this wall. I will try to pray to it and bash it in. Okay, sticking righty. Sticking with the right. Sticking with the right side. Okay. That's why we always do right. And now we find some more Promius. Well, I guess uh, if you were wondering where to get all the Promius for the rest of the Promius set, this is the answer. It's in this area. We still gotta go to Lynn's house too and get the um, and get the items from her house too. As well, so there's one more thing for us to do. When we go get Promius. Ah oh, man, Giants, you're back. You're dead. You're dead, man! I will use my PhD and wall checking to kill you. He also teaches us giants a lot of things. It was in the same course. It's kinda weird. Check walls and learn how to slot the giants. Ah, uh, we found the front of a turtle. I feel bad, turtle. Oh, you know what I should have done was truth blast you. Oh well. All's well that ends well, right? And the turtle's life has ended. Sadly. It has ended. Are we gonna find Lin's father and have to break the news to him that because of his stupid ass he's dead? Yeah, I blame him for being an absentee father. Alright, let's truth class this butt. Now. But you are getting truth classed. I'm gonna find out the truth! About you. Shell Dragon. Resembling a big turtle, Shell Dragon is an impermeable once in a defense is impermeable once in a defensive position. Because of his defensive shell, it is also impossible to attack from the side or back. Not to worry, a front attack won't hurt. Much. Ha ha ha. Ha <laughs> wait, is that a fountain over there? It is a fountain. You see it? He is guarding a fountain. Let me check my pixel map. I'm curious to see where we are heading. Uh, alright, I guess we did end up exploring that whole area. For some reason I thought we missed stuff, but I guess not. I'm already room checking. Alright, well, dang, we did a good job exploring, huh? Okay, we still got more ways to go, ways to check. I'm still looking at the map, making sure I didn't miss anything, but I don't see anything, so... Onwards! Onwards we go! And now we must go further right. Take out you. I don't know why somehow I'm able to stay upbeat in these rough times without land. These rough times. Lyle's journal. I lost Lynn today. It was a rough day. I found plenty of Promius, but none of it could make up for the loss of the life of my beloved Lynn. I only knew her when I was four years old, and I never saw her again until I turned 20,029 or however the hell old I am. Why are you have such a smile on your face, Cyclops? Why are you smiling like that? Don't you know that Lynn is dead? Stop your smiling! Lin is dead. She's gone from us. Ah! Is that something on the ground? I guess not. There are a lot of really important things on the ground here. I gotta say. Um, I mean, it's a super important thing on the Icarus ground. Super, super important. I was kind of wondering where the last one was. So I wonder if the power we get from Leon is going to be what allows us to go through the, um, the passage that we want to go through. 
me see where I am. More random paths. Let's help take the righty path again. We'll do it again. Yeah, I walked right into that, and I knew I was doing it. I didn't even care. Earth crystal, nice. Nice, nice. Alright, we'll come back to the outside area after we go through here. Let's use that earth crystal. I almost said crystal. And then I did. Earth magic up. Magic learned! Oh, I wonder if we learned stone. Attack. That'd be my guess. Stone. Well, I'm right. We learned stone attack. Actually, one of the things about earth magic, let's use earth heal. So I think it's healing us for more now. That would make sense. The more powerful my earth magic gets, it would get more powerful. So this has been a really big episode for progress, I gotta say. Some episodes I feel like I don't make that much progress, but this one I feel like I made tons and tons of progress. I'm gonna be really curious to see where Lin's up. Not Lin's, where my new Icarus crown takes me. Very, very curious. Alright, well, keep on with the right path. As we do. I feel like I lost my train of thought with like the whole let's play thing I was talking about before, but ah, whatever. That's all good. Okay. Now we can take care of this turtle head. I mean, dragon thing. Yeah, it didn't hurt me too much. Aw, it's gonna be cute when it melts as I slaughter it. It is, though. It's kind of cute. That was all for nothing, because I really did not need to kill it. Ooh. Oh, shit. Another wise fruit. So my wisdom is currently at four. Now it's at five. Look at that. Now we can hopefully find out what the rest of all these random things do. Promise we've known. Lin's ring. Alex found this in the dragon fountain at the center of the castle courtyard. He gave the ring to Lin, who has been wanting to return it. The Icarus... This is one of the three seals of Icarus, so it will lead to the Fountain of Healing. We already knew that. A royal key we knew. I feel like one of these keys we didn't know. This key is for the specialty... Yeah, we knew that one. Jail key, we never knew. The key to the door. Maybe there just was no description further. Uh, we knew that description. Lin's key. This is the key for the house of the Elf Merchant Lin. The Elf Merchants usually carry unusual items. This is the message written by Lynn, the elf merchant, before she embarked on the trip to Thoron. And... I think that's it for these. The magical, the magical power of high-level mages has been sealed inside this gem. Fruitite will increase all areas of magical power. Just in case I never got that before. Yeah, and that actually tells me where Orlana's pick does, which I don't know if it did. Alright, well, let's check all of our awesome equipment. This sword was discovered by King Alfred in the cemetery. It has the power of light and also has the ability to heal its user. Alright, there we go. So it was um, the triple thing that was healing us this whole time. Pretty sweet. Beevil Crescent. This axe, this the axe has great striking power, but it is cursed. The axe may sometimes cast a spell upon its user, paralyzing him. I guess we read that before. Uh, uh Volgar Renew. One star. This weapon will suck the life from your enemy and convert it into the user's life power. It has its good points, but it forfeits magic use. Alright, there you go. So I see actually Mr. Master Devil was talking about this in the comments. Give him some shoutouts, give him some props. This will, if you use it on an enemy, you drain their health and get health from them, but you cannot use magic. Exelector. Uh, it's just a special weapon at the moment. Still. Alright, well that's all those. I think we need Velashia. Yeah. Uh, magic. Actually, do these have descriptions? It, we, they do have the descriptions. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize that. Um, cool, cool. Anyways. Oh, tornado. This will cause a tornado by creating a sudden warp in the atmosphere. It's the wind level 3. Cool. Alright, dragon head. Ordinary armor. Ah, uh, we still don't know what the ground all crown does. That was what I wanted to know! Chromius armor. This armor is made with the rare metal Chromius, handed down by the dwarves for centuries. If an entire armor is made of Chromius, uh, if an, uh, handed down by the entire dwarves for centuries. If an entire armor is made of Chromius, okay, then what? This heavy armor of the legendary Garans. The heavy armor of the legendary Garans. It is so thick that to cast a spell through it will take twice the normal amount of magic. Oh. 
Oh, I didn't notice that. Let's equip our Promius again. Haha, <laughs> I did not notice that. Well, that is not great. So, I mean, it's super defensive though, so if you don't want to use magic, I guess it's really good. I think that's everything now. I think that's everything. We know what everything does, don't we? Cool. Alright. Well, that was a good sidetrack, I think. I like that sidetrack. I was happy with it. Let me check my map. Make sure there's no reason to go back into that passageway, which I don't think there is. Nope. Alright. So we're gonna go backwards now, and pretend that was a dead end, and start heading right again. So, back to our right check. I imagine we probably got all the important things in this area, but you never know. You never know. Well, there was nothing in this dead end. That was awesome. Unless I'd, I'm not seeing something. Uh, okay. Well, apparently that was, uh, everything that I was missing. So I think we're still missing some Promius. I know that there's a final Promius, like another one. That one guy, alright, great, another level up. We can use that, for sure, to get through that trap area. Pass to death. Uh, that's not what I want to check. I want to check my fix in that. Well, it looks like I've explored this entire area now. So... Sad times, sad, sad times. Well, I will stick, I will stick to what I said I was going to do, and use my... Icarus Crown. Let's see where it takes us. Hopefully it'll take us back to Kiss, so we don't need to die fast warp there. This is taking us back to... Oh, wait, I want to see the inside. Actually, this took us to the graveyard with Alexander's area. So, alright. Yeah, that's... the That's where this is, if you guys were curious. I kind of just remember that. Anyways... Uh, I wonder if that's the fountain that you're supposed to use the item on that I had. This actually takes us right back to the Passage of Death, if I can find my way back there. So, that's kind of cool, I guess. I guess. Where am I going right now? I should probably check my map, but I don't want to. Okay. Oops. I almost used the Acreous Crown again. So, let's see. I wish there was a fast way back without dying to the beginning of the game. It probably is. Oh man. Well, it's far off way to get back to the beginning, I guess. So, we'll come back here. We'll come back here. Oh wait, actually, is this a dead end? I think it is a dead end. So, there might be something here if it is a dead end. I guess it looks like it is. Okay, well, that was a dead end. Cool. What is the point of this area? What is the point? I guess it's just to make you curious. You see that passageway and you're like, where the hell could it lead to? So let's see, I, I still gotta use my, um, I'm gonna have to go back to Leon. That's for sure. And we could probably like take all of our Sylvia keys on the way back. And the other thing I'm gonna have to do is go back to, um, I mean, go back to Kiss, but... Well, that did not have much to it. Oh yeah, I want to go to the Lin's spot. Lin's spot. There are so many ghosts here. For some reason, there's a lot of ghosts in the graveyard. Who would have thought? Kind of just exploring... Whoa! It's the castle. Interesting that the graveyard is literally right outside the castle. Nay? Nay, nay, nay. What's through here? I can't get through there. Uh, okay, let's leave this area. We will come back, because I don't think I can even get in anyways. I think I have to go talk to Leon first. Plus, I want to finish exploring the passage of death before we go in anyways, because the passage of death is a boss. Oh, wait a second. What is the... Wait, what did I just pick up? Almost pick up. I just did pick up. I don't even know what it was. Oh, well. What is through here? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Moonlight Sword? The nation's future lies in your hands. Alexander Thornton Riggins. Oh, only part of the Moonlight Sword. A broken Moonlight Sword. Let's try using it the, uh... The item we got from Lin. I'm not sure which fountain you can use it on. The Holy Sword of your father was broken ten years ago. Alexander put his entire being upon the sword to seal the castle. 
Maybe we just need all of our Aladdin stuff first. Anyways, nothing happens there. It might just be the fountain I warped to that we need to use it. I don't know. Definitely a fountain, though, that we'll have to use it on. Why am I still exploring this area? We'll come back. We will come back. Don't worry, guys. We will come back to it. Let's use the Icarus Eye. And go back to Relugo. And then we'll head back to Kist. Get some of this backtracking out of the way. So we don't have to worry about them. And I'll probably wrap up this Let's Play. And then, yeah, we will, we will come back to the Passage of Death. We'll come back to a bunch of areas. So, so yeah. We got a lot of stuff left to do. I'm sure a lot of these people have new things to say, too. Possibly. About the depressing death of Lynn. Let's use your key and ra ransack her house. Hey. Alright. So, first of all, we finally find out what's in here. Let's... There's probably Magician's Key. Magician's Key! For another green bracelet. I wonder if equipping two will make me extra powerful. That'd be cool. So right now I have 81. If I equip another one, I have 86. Sweet. Alright, I'm down for that. And this item, what is it? It is a silence rod. Special weapon that does something that I don't know. What do you do? Right now you're just a rod that I hit people with. No, I was thinking, I don't think I've ever truth last a uh, watermelon head, so let's find out what a watermelon head's real name is. It's gonna be disappointing, I think. What are you actually called, watermelon head? What if the truth glass just breaks? Watermelon heads are so powerful that you can't truth glass them. A head eater of subspecies of man trap. Head eater restricts its diet to man. When a head eater swallows a person, they are swallowed whole. And the person inside is kept there indefinitely without being digested. Some made it their profession to hunt head eaters. Uh, so they're sort of like man eaters. Um, not man eaters, but they're called. So, uh, Venus Flytrap, that's what I'm talking about. So this basically does nothing on it, but I wonder if using it will actually make it so an enemy cannot use magic at all. Let's test out this theory on this guy. So, okay, well, give me a strength up, so... Hey, 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 hey! I'm gonna equip my triple thing again, because the triple thing is B.A. Hey, hey, hey! Okay. You know what I was thinking? I'm just trying to think of what cover I want. Yeah, look, he's not spewing poison at me. Oh, wait. Well, I just bit my own words. Okay, look, I checked this graveyard, Mr. Master Devil. I checked it! This is the graveyard behind where uh, Bob lives, or Joe lives. So I checked it. I checked it. Anyways, sorry. Sidetracked. And Completely lost my train of thought on that sidetrack. Whoops. Don't know what I was thinking. Oh well, whatever. I think it's completely gone. I'm sorry. Anyways, I think we're gonna go back, uh, talk to Leon, and that'll wrap up this let's play because we're at just about an hour, and uh, might as well collect all my Silviera keys along the way. So, it's pretty pretty worth it, I think. I don't think there are any other Egyptian giant royal chests that I'm missing. So, the only one that I can think of are the ones that are in the Passage of Death. So, that would probably be it, as far as I can tell. Uh, yeah, anyways, the let's play Lord Through Dark Souls, if I do do that. I know I've been taking a while uploading those Let's Plays. It's because they take a while, but if I do a lore playthrough, I might try to do one a day if I can. Because I think it'd be fun and might be more enjoyable than, I don't know, to watch. Just because I feel like I have so much more info to dispense at this point in time. Another interesting thing to talk about while I'm traveling and doing this whole travel thing. Last night was the second Dark Souls 2 beta test. I actually was fortunate enough to be in the first one, the first round, which was awesome. The second round, I live in the US, and apparently it did not work in North America and South America as well. 
uh, the servers crashed or something happened and we could not get into the network test. Which, you know what, I gotta give props to the Dark Souls community here because some people were bitching but not that many people. And it's actually kind of nice from someone who studied more than the game design and all that stuff to see that. That people in this community were all really understanding, like, you know what, it was a network test, it was for free. And the thing is that, um... Oh, we're gonna have to really backtrack when I grab this one now that I think about it. Damn, that sucks. Oh, uh, you know what, I might not be able to grab this one now that I think about it. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to grab this one. Yet. Yet, yet, yet. Because if I grab this one, I can't get through. And then, um... Yeah, I won't be able to get through. And I'd have to go backtrack the other way, it'd be annoying. Sidetracked. Anyways, the reason Dark Souls community is awesome, we can grab this one though. Is because even though North America couldn't get on, a lot of people were pissed because it was so late for North America times. A lot of people when I was reading comments actually were really understanding of it. Like, hey, you know, the reason they tested it from 11 to 2 or, uh, AM, 11 PM to 2 AM, wasn't for America convenience. It was for the sake of, they're doing the testing during the middle of the work hours for Japan. It's not like they want to work during 11 to 2 AM, J J Japan time, because that's where From Software is located. And the other thing is that it's a network test. The whole point of it is to test to see if they can get the servers to crash so they can make sure it doesn't happen when you actually buy the game. So, the fact that it was crashing and it wasn't working, that was the whole point. That's why they were doing it, and most people were actually pretty understanding of it, so... Props to you, Dark Souls community, for actually understanding the whole reason that they were doing the network test in the first place. Yeah, I don't even know why I killed that guy. I didn't have to, I did it anyways. So, Leon should have some new stuff for us this time around. He should. I'll be mad if he doesn't. Now that he's been telling us that we must hurry for a long time, and I hurried. Oh, I hurried, and I got all the Icarus the items, and I got met the four Archmages, and I have all the power. So Leon, let's chat. We have some things to talk about. What do you got to say? Don't enter the castle yet. You need some more time before you will be ready. And besides, I'll be needing to work the seals in the Icarus' key. I'll keep the sword in the seals for now. Once I've completed the key, you will take it to the Valley of Eternity to obtain the power of Icarus. Only then will you be ready. I will make it quickly. I'll keep you informed on the progress. Come back soon. Uh, okay. So, here's his deal. I think he just took the X-Elector, and he's gonna make it even more badass. So, good thing we found this triple thing. Yeah, he just took the X-Elector. I am really glad we found this triple thing now, because if he took my X-Elector, I'd been really sad if I didn't have this triple thing. Uh, other thing... Is that I should probably should put that key back, but eh, whatever. Fuck it. Fuck it! That's all I gotta say. Fuck it. So, let's head back to... Um... Yeah, I got my Promius. Let's head back to the Promius Armor area, and then we'll save up and call it a day. Then we'll head to the Passage of Death again tomorrow. Or next time I would do this let's play. So, here we go. Uh, oh wait, did he take my Icarus items too? He... No, he didn't. No, he didn't! Oh no! My fast travel! Oh, he just took away all my fast traveling. Uh, okay. Shit. What am I gonna do now? Hmm. Well. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna run back, I guess, and that sucks. I wonder what the time limit on this is. All right, I'm sorry. Tomorrow, just in case, or next time I do this, let's play. I will come with topics to talk about, to discuss, so we can rush back, um, and at least at least have stuff to talk about. And if you guys have suggestions, actually, um, in the comments below. While we're doing all this backtracking, we're gonna need to do. Go ahead and write in the comments if there's anything you'd like to hear me talk about. And I will try to abide by what you guys say. I'll try and come up with some of my own stuff. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't remember this happened. It's been a long, long time since I played Kingsfield 2. 
and I did play it. I did play it. I did beat it when I was a kid, but it's been a... I, I've actually replayed Kingsfield multiple times throughout my childhood, which is why I remember that a little bit better. Whereas Kingsfield 2, I've actually only played once. And what if that family of healing is actually fixed? I doubt it. But that'd be nice if I could fast travel that way. I just want to check again. I'm like, I'm in disbelief. They took all my Icarus items from me. You didn't take the Moonlight Sword that was broken. Whatever, Leon. Take all my Icarus stuff from me. So yeah, anyways, write in the comments below if there's anything, anything at all that you would like to hear me talk about and discuss. And we'll have a discussion. I guess it'll be like a mini Ask Dave type of thing. Or like, all that. I mean, I'm not like... <laughs> I'm not expecting much, like Epic Name Bro, who is badass, and yeah, he suggests something like that, and he'll get a million comments. But I can't think of anything else to do, and I want to make it a little bit easier, ease the pain of all this backtracking we're about to have to do. Uh, let me think about things to discuss. Dark Souls 2 Beta. I did play the Dark Souls 2 Beta, the first one. I'm thinking that I might- I, I haven't been putting up any footage of it because I was abiding by their rules but at this point there's so much out there that I might just put up some Dark Souls 2 footage anyways. I was thinking about making a let's play of the Dark Souls 2 beta just because I mean at this point it's almost silly that I thought I'd load it. I actually recorded all three hours of my playthrough during the first beta test and there's just so much up and I- um, that, you know what, I mean, if they ask me to take it down, I will do it in a support I will definitely do it, but... I mean, at this point, it almost seems silly not to. It does kind of suck that they let major sites like IGN and stuff do live streams, whereas all of us regular people have these restrictions where we're not allowed to upload anything, technically. Technically speaking. But, um, I mean, I, I don't think they're doing anything, and they're gonna... I don't think they're going to do anything. So, I might... And I was also thinking about making a lore video about Dark Souls 2 for the stuff that we know so far. And why not? Why not make a fun lore video for Dark Souls 2? As well as I'll start uploading some gameplay stuff. But we'll see. I'm thinking about it. Things to do. And yes, Kingsfield lore video. Very much a to-do on my to-do list. And you almost forget with all the fast traveling how much you actually, I actually have traveled. Because it, that made it so much easier. Do I have any dragon crystals left? That's obviously the fastest way. Yeah, I've got three. So maybe I'll just die eventually. Go to the passage of death. Do all my exploring. Go back to the Alexander's castle. And then just die. And use that as my fast travel way back. That is what I'm thinking. So. Yeah, that might be what I'm going to do. Anyways. As soon as I get to a save point. That would wrap up because we are past an hour at this point and it'd be fun to sleep at the end again actually I feel like I know this world so much now the world of Verdite okay here I'm checking the other graveyard for you Mr. Master Devil here's another graveyard to check this is by the Al Hunt type character Al Hunt I just remember the names of the characters from Kingsville 1 here's another graveyard to check and let's talk to this guy too Maybe it's something to say. You know, you don't look very powerful. Not too many people are left here in this kingdom, but they all regard you as their king now that you've shown them reason to hope. If you're going to rescue the last, last of your people, you must fulfill your destiny, meaning take the powers you've been given to the castle and take back the kingdom from your former father. Please don't fail us in a while. I'm begging you. I'm begging you! Let's check these tombstones. Tombstone pizzas. Don't see anything. Do not see anything at all. I hope I get fast travel again. I miss it. I miss it already. I was so relying on that fast travel. No. I wonder if that weird guy, this weird guy, is going to say. What's his name again? Mark Johnson. Do you have anything new to tell us? He's shaking his head. If you obtain the knowledge of your own faith and understand its meaning, soon your appointed future will become clear to you. Until then, wear lots of synthetic leather and learn to dance the polka. 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Intellectual. Shaddan, the Archmage of Earth, made this jewel into a ring to increase the power of Earth magic. The jewel harnesses the Earth's natural magic power and is known as his greatest masterpiece. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I, I want to hear more. I want to hear more. You're like our new fortune teller. If you obtain the knowledge of your own fate. Silence Rod. Not actually a weapon. This rod was presented to the king by Zul Arafin. Isn't that with the water magic because it lay at the bottom of the lake for over 1,000 years. It has no striking power, but it has powerful magic. So I guess so a weapon magic is back again, just like in Kingsfield 1. I'll try and figure out how to use it so I can show it all off. Dragon Head. It is the ancient past the warriors known of is the, in the ancient path the warriors known as the Dragon Knights wore this kind of helmet. It is made of the scales of a dragon. Most of these helmets left Alicia along with the Dragon Knights. This is very rare. Alright, dope. Cool, cool. So I guess he didn't do any of that stuff for us before because we didn't have anything to show him. If you notice my list is getting smaller, there's all items that we haven't gotten before. This is an amplification tool used for the physical and mental strength. It is the helmet of the Garans, which will nullify the use of magic, but will increase physical strength. Those who love magic may not like this tool. Alright, so there it is. So you get amazing strength and power, but you cannot use magic. And I'm trying to raise up my magic power, so I'm not going to equip it, even though I do prefer using attack. King Harvai made this magical necklace to increase wind magic. Many talismen went to his palace to beg to be granted this necklace to increase their power of magic. Uh, there are a lot of typos in this. Like, necklace down there is spelled with C, no K in that necklace. And I don't think you say many talisman wins because the talisman is an item. So, bad translation on that one. Jail key. This key is to the door of the castle prison. Silviera had the same key at one point. Inside the jail, there's a painting done by an artist who was in prison because he refused to draw a portrait of the king. Do we see the painting? I don't know if I remember that. That's kind of interesting. Alright, cool. Well, uh, that's exciting. I wonder if I look at all my items now. If now... Yeah, now we have those descriptions, period. So, badass stuff. Alright guys, well that's gonna wrap me up. Uh, I guess this went longer than I was expecting, because I didn't think that backtracking thing was gonna happen. But thanks again for joining me, and I will see you guys next time. Let me know once again if you guys have anything you'd like me to talk about, or any questions, or anything like that. And I will see you guys next time. Peace!